deployment immediately. So we have the Giants here. The Sea Giants. We have um, other Giants as well. They are too many. 14. I don't know why they are that many. Supposed to be three, not fourteen. Three of the Krakens. Three of the ancient Kraken turtles. This would have been a certain crash in the past. Ordinary dragon turtles too. Three of them. And we have the Naga Brutes as well. Three of them too. They need to fix that uh, sea giant unit. For now let's just group everyone and start the battle. And then click on the enemy. doesn't seem to crash currently. The weather isn't as clear as in the previous battle. But, uh, yeah, it looks good. Still can't have 14 sea giants per unit. I might change them to 3, like for the others. Then I might be able to release it without using a customized EDU. That means the game will work both for those who do, do not use the memory editing tool and for those that are using it. But of course the Giants are gonna crash for anyone not using the tool. So if they want to play with the Giants and Dragons they need to use the tool. But if, if they don't uh, want the, the Giant units then they can just uh, play without it and, and then but they need to use different files, uh, different EDB file and uh, they need to use a different EDB file so they uh, are not recruiting the giants and they need to use a different desk strat file so that uh, they have no giants in the starting armies. For anyone who wants to play with giants uh, they will need to use the memory editing tool. Of course I can release a version with all of the giants being run in a unit too. I have a EDU fixed for that, but that version will never work without the memory editing tool. That's why I might release two versions of the mod, I'm not sure. We'll see what I do. Now we can play with all the giants, that's awesome. And without bag. I believe I disabled a few functions in the program too, so that might have helped with the lag. In, our favor. in the previous battle I used some additional features like uh, enable wall locking and enable choose your air and a lot of other unnecessary stuff. Now I don't, uh, I'm not, now I'm not using any of that. I'm still playing using the CD version, so I can't play with the immersion mode in, in, this, uh, in this version of the game. I will need to edit the game uh, again for the Steam version. The Steam version has a different EDU, where all the guys are one unit. So of course it will uh, be more simple to use it, but uh, that person won't ever work if you do not use the memory editing tool. But this version will actually work, it's just the guy in the crash. So they need to be removed if, if, if you're gonna use uh, this version without the memory editing tool. So 32% enemies killed. 11% allies killed. 
night elves also had uh, giant units, the mountain giants and ancients of war. So you have some krakens here too. I prefer the krakens to be one too. And all the others to be either one, two or three. But not Dragon turtle actually three of them it would never have worked in the past. These dragons, if they were one, or if it was one unit of these in a full army, it would crash. Especially against the night elves. It was enough if you had a full naga army, full sized naga army with this unit in it. So it's awesome that it works. Now. Three giants are kind of overpowered. You might use the other file with one. Still need to do some work in the, in the other version. Need to change the projectiles of all the, the casters that have a tricking uh, projectiles. Because if I'm gonna use the immersion mode, I don't want her to shake. And then I need to do something about the night elven cities. They Only lag too much, the, the, the Elder Scrolls remain. cities, so we will remove them. And I don't want vanilla cities for the Night Elves, so I will add the High Elven cities. And then we just need to recolor them into purple. And change the symbols. We have the walls for the Elder Scrolls cities, maybe those textures can be copied over to the others. Yeah, but then, if they will fit. Yeah, the, the idea is to to have the high elven cities for the night elves as well and change the textures and symbols because two cities do not uh, lag the elder scrolls custom settlements lag for some reason and the old uh, Dunmer custom settlements did not lag in that game but all the new ones from the recent versions do Bant will be pleased to know that all his giants work without crashing the game now. The only problem with the memory editing tool is that uh, the security programs of uh, Windows 10 might cause trouble. If you have Windows 7 it should be fine, then there is no problem. Use it. If you have Windows 10, should be possible to use it as well. It's just uh, you need to disable the firewalls and security. Otherwise, they will interfere and think that the memory editing tool is a virus or something. The enemy king is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less. It's nice playing this that. with all the guys in the game. Advantage. Here I have some sea giants of the Naga. There were too many destroyed. Don't think the mountain giants, which is the same unit but for the night elves, but much. Slightly different look, but same style of unit. I don't think they were 40. I think they were about 3. Here we have uh, some Naga Brutes. Elves had a full army too, full sized army. Here are the sea guides. One of them have died. More than one. So they were 14, now they are 10. 
that sort of lower power to have 40 C cannons in one unit. That would have been a certain crash in the past. 3 is fine, but uh, 1 would be optimal. Dragon turtles are still alive. Okay. All of Christendom will be all Seems we won the battle. We have one year today. Killed ninety-seven percent. They killed fifty-nine percent today. Naga are not bad with their giants. They have more than the items. That's why they won. Killed 1060, they killed 567 already. No crash, awesome.
awesome. The guidance are fully working thanks to the memory editing tool. Let's go out of the game. Let's see here. So I downloaded memory editing tool. Uh, then I uh, let's see here. So here is the files. Forum, Medieval Total War, Medieval Total War, Medieval Total War mods, Mod Workshop, Tools, Tutorials and Resources, Text Editing and Scripting, M2 TV, Engine Overall Project, Download Links, Important Information and Instructions for the program in Pictures. Then we get to this site and I clicked here, uh, version 1.18. And I came to this site. Here they have some tutorials and videos. I scroll down, and uh, here we found on the second post the latest test version of the program. Clicked Google Drive. That took me to this page. I already had it uh, up here. So then I don't downloaded this. I needed to have either. 7 zip or win rare to be able to unrare it. I then get this uh, folder inside of the rare program. So I double click on it, then I <coughs> then I will uh, mark all of these with, with the mouse, and then I will move all of these uh, files to, to each of the mods that I want to use it with. For example, uh, I added all these files to Warcraft Total War. VTV in games, Sega, Medieval Total War mods. That's the one I'm playing now, the CD version. And then I also moved them to the, the other one. This is I rule because I tried some stuff. Uh, so um, we have Warcraft Total War here too in Steam apps, common Medieval Total War mods, VTV. So I placed them here as well. Uh, you have more options you can change with Notepad++ in this folder, but to use the program there are two ways. You can either uh, use Notepad++ and enable certain features, or you can just run the program, which is uh, this uh, program, M2TV, whatever it stands for. And uh, yeah, you will get a UI where you have a lot of options and one of the options is to fix the, the issue with giants crashing. Another option is to fix the berserkers because you can add berserker attributes to units in, in, in uh, Medieval 2. Problem is that they will uh, crash as soon as they enter battle if they aren't cavalry. So for example a giant unit can use it without problems but if you gave it to an infantry unit it would crash but this tool fixes that problem so now we can add berserker uh, ability to like urkai or uh, berserkers in, in viking mode uh, etc so it will be much better when you can use those features that didn't work in the past okay let's go back to the game have given each giant the no projectile, no pro projectile, so now they shouldn't crash when I place the cursor on the gate even if I have giants selected. I will try that. Start deployment. Including the awesome ancient dragon turtles. We need to limit the number of these guys, but otherwise, it's pretty cool. 
Also, the reason Ban to rig these dragon turtles is because the, we thought the others had too much uh, polygons, too many polygons. So he he rigged those. Jesus, they are shooting at us. They are firing at us. Attack. So banned to rig these because we thought the others were too high poly. But uh, yeah. now we can use boats. So. Still save the unit. Awesome, I know that. Believe this is also fixed the crashes in battle. In, in all mods blessed. with elephants the enemy, that the crash during battle. Like you just need to use this tool and, and, and they will not crash anymore. It wasn't the polygons, it was the skeleton fire. Skeleton. They were uh, like uh, rigged in, in a wrong way or something. It was the skeleton that caused the issue with crashing. And they fixed it, and this tool is correcting the problem. That's why they work. So it's not a polygon issue, it's a skeleton issue. With elephants. Because they are harder to rig than other units. For example, the giants of Warcraft of the War used the uh, animations from Warhammer beginning of the end times. The giants in the beginning of the end times work without crashing uh, most of the time. But uh, Bandit said it, it was hard to rig them and uh, that he had problems rigging them, so it's probably connected to, 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 to the rigging of the model. And this program corrected the skeletons. It only corrects the skeletons when you use it. It's not a permanent to change. The day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle. That's why you need Forging to <coughs> restart the program every time before starting the game for this to work. One of the guys uh, that uh, created the program said that they could, if, if I gave them the animation, uh, name of the animation, the file, if, if I gave them, uh, if I gave him the folder with all the animations and then gave him the name of the certain animation of the specific unit then uh, he could fix it so I wouldn't need to use the program so that could be an idea too but uh, I believe uh, there are quite a few units that are giants in this mod but all of them are probably using all the dragon units, flying units are using the same animations and all the two-legged giants are using the same, with the exception of the turtles, of course. They are using a different one and... Uh, means that the Burning Vinyan should be playable too, I will try them next. See if, if they can use all their guidance now without problems. They should be able to. The Infernals and the Fell Reavers, the Doom Guards and the Fell Fiends. The, the last two are guides, but they still crash the game. Now they hopefully will not crash. If the Naga do not crash and the Night Elves do not crash, then I think Burning Legion won't crash either. So this fix was uh, really required for all the different giant units, the but especially for the Burning blood. Legion. You can't they really enjoy them, them without their giants. So they are a faction that uh, is basically based around those giants. Without the giants, they look kind of meh and incomplete. incomplete. So yeah, they need the giants. Thank you. 
humans also have guides from Dalaran only. So if you hold Dalaran, you can recruit mad golems. All the humans, including the Scarlet Crusade, can have uh, mad golems. All of them started one mad golem from the start, but uh, I believe that in order to recruit new ones, you need to hold Dalaran, which gives uh, an order on the benefit. It's the unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning. However, if you play the Frost and Trump campaign, I believe it's held by the High Elves and the Veris of Indran. So, in order only need to retake Dalaran to get Mad Golems. Other units will need to take Dalaran. Epic to play this game with the immersion mode now, and we can have such big units. We try attack the dragons in Northrend to see if they still crash or not. Most likely they won't. Dragon turtle here. More than one. This CD version, I believe I just need to fix that uh, C guide issue with 14 guides. Then, after that, it's pretty much. I had some stuff to fix in the disk strategy because uh, for some reason I hadn't added guides to the NAG in the, in the ordinary campaign, in the ordinary World of Trick. Surprised me. So ninety eight percent killed, thirty percent of our troops killed. Dragon turtles over here doing nothing. Snap dragons as well. Oh, he 
Skeleton's Bodyguard. Bodyguard. He has a Demon Hunter bodyguard, but they are not counted as the regular bodyguard of the Naga. Which means if you have a cavalry in the army, they will automatically choose one of the cavalry units. The game will choose one of the cavalry units as, as the bodyguard for Ildan. That's why there are so many. As the general's uh, unit number goes up each time. Yeah, we can't have the guy in his army. Place them in other armies. This was just to try uh, a battle with the full army with all the guys in it. See if it crashed or not. Unfortunately, it didn't. Now we will need to change a faction and try to attack the Scourge, as they call Scarlet Crusade. And then start the game as the Burning Legion. My lord! And try some battles. Our men are in command of the castle! All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Yes. All right, we kill 2324. Very good news. Most of the army is defeated. Mission success. Resistance is futile in Splinter Tree. Trade increased in other Illidan. Uh, and uh, enemy army routes. End of turn report. But Legion is the best financially and the Scourge is the best in everything else. Okay, we're done here. See you soon. Alright, so I'm back. I'm playing the Scarlet Crusade in the Frozen Throne campaign. We are attacking Virmrest, I believe. The capital of Alexstrass and her dragons. Dragonspawn. They have like uh, quite a few dragons there now. So deployment. Uh, it's a custom settlement. Skin settlement from Hyrule to War. Start the battle. Now I don't know if the dragons are the ones causing the crash because this settlement could cause a crash in the past at least. They have some dragons here. Blue dragons, red dragons, green dragons. If it's it D we will try to play it again and let the army sally out so we don't have to fight in the actual settlement. These are all the giant dragons. Seems to work well with the dragons. The green dragons, red dragons, yellow dragons, or are they orange maybe? Gold, blue dragons. When the dragons work, maybe I should add them as uh, mercenaries, regionals from Wyrmrest. If you conquer Wyrmrest or any of their other holdings, you can get their dragons. That would be pretty cool. I'm not sure. In the work of tree, you could uh, sometimes get dragons on the map. Scarlet Crusade army outside, controlled by the AI. Scarlet Crusaders here, I like that unit. Very cool fan made unit.
might add this unit as a custom model to the leaders of the Skull Crusade too. I will separate the female from the ma male and add the male one to the male generals and the female one to the female. Not if they already have like a class, for example paladins or something, knights of terror, but if they are Scarlet Crusaders, Grand Admirals, etc. Pointed at this path, they don't seem to do much. Balance of forces is evenly matched. I will need to update several mods with the memory editing tool. My Viking mods are gonna use the Berserker ability, and Hyrule of War will need this fix too for the Giants because even though they worked fine on Windows 7 still crash for people using Windows 10. So I will need to do that's the same issue as for the third age mod which worked on Windows 7 but not on Windows 10. This mod however had issues on Windows 10 too or Windows 7 too. But uh, in Hyrule we will also need to add that uh, feature to it. So uh, so, so they can use all the guidance without problem. Thank you. Defend 
aggressive stance, aggressive stance, shoot out stance, I actually don't need to do that, let's just attack, My lord, only half our force remains. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Awesome. So he retreated. There is one way into the city, the one that we opened up. So every other unit will need to move all the way over here. Griffins are first to enter, and soon to face the dragons. The mounted paladins of the Scarlet Crusade. They're only flying. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Good job, capturing the walls. Will you survive against the dragon onslaught? Is the question. These are the mounted paladins. They are pretty strong, but they have no ranged attack. Dragons can shoot fire. Cavalry, the knights, bodyguard. They're wasting their bodyguards as usual. They have some knighted shields of virtue here. Real good cavalry unit. The Scarlet Crusade. The best one is the Mount of Paladins. Attack, what are you doing? Here's their general. I like their looks. Now they attack the dragons. Dragons of course can attack in melee too, because they are the elephant. They should be able to fire, I don't know why they did. Firing missile, stage firing missile, but didn't see them fire. Right. 
I think we can say that the mod do not crash anymore with the dragons either. either. I just need to check their project time. There's only the legion left, but I'm very hopeful that they won't crash either. They were some ordinary unit cavalry. Killed, 11% allies killed. The Griffins are now in the battle. The dragons are very hard to kill in the Lee. Not impossible, but very hard to kill. It's very difficult. As you can see, they kill a lot of, of our horsemen in the Lee. Fairy tale where the knights can defeat the dragons easily. There are some infantry arriving, they will have used this by the time. They are even worse against the dragons. Range units are what they need, especially mages. The AI is probably too stupid to use them in range combat and probably used to suicide them in melee. Here we have some mud golems. Giants of the humans. So they do not crash either. Anymore. Without their general, they may they lose can't kill the dragons, I believe. Maybe they can. Who is firing? We must have Someone is firing. Probably the priest. The holy light. No, the dragon might be firing. The enemy are badly blooded. They have Words, lost No, it's the priest firing some stuff. Maybe others too. Dragons are dying now. Unless they kill them, so their, their own units. Maybe they needed some clear uh, sight to fire their projectiles. Here they have that. Dragons. All right. Runes dragon fly. They are firing. Troops, but they're flaming for the guys. That's awesome. They haven't really seen the projectile. Where is it? Damage now. 
blast. Nice. The generally I saw the fire we have there. sent the idiot to hell. Yeah, we are killing a lot of troops with that fire proof tile. Just needed a clear sight to fire it. They couldn't fire here. Now they can. So the life binder is dead. So the dragon the general is dead. Some archers here. Some grand scholars are serious. One for the female and one for the male. Four percent enemies killed, six percent allies killed. actually use that as the general instead of the actual general or we use it for the custom ones it makes sense that they would be granted as the common generals then they will ride horses and they don't have to Dragons have been killed, probably by their own fault. Six enemies killed, six eight enemies killed. It will be very equal this battle.
out all the griffins too. Only one dragon left, I think. Armies we lost seventy one percent, we lost fifty. Died. The dragon is dead. Sixty percent enemies killed. Do they have anything more? I don't think so. Is ours, no, we won the battle. By a sword's edge. You won the battle. Finally. If you looked at the percentage of uh, enemies killed, they were leading, but the dragon counts for a lot of percent. So all the dragons are dead. Most of them died by their own fire, I believe. Still killed most of our troops. We had two full armies, so... It'll be hard for the Scarlet Crusade to survive against the Vrykul, the Scourge and others now. The Drakari Trolls. This was just a suicidal mission to try out the dragons. Clear victory! So we killed 24 dragons there. One army under Shelly killed 24 dragons. Then the other army under Barry and Weston killed 8. Dragons killed 1985 of our troops. Then Captain Alexandros destroyed the gates. It was just a tribution. Alright, only the Burning Legion left to try. We will use them against the Night Elves, because usually they could handle the storm with storm in fact pretty well, because they have all their models to try against the Night Elves instead. We lost most of the troops there. Move out. Still have the mud golem remaining. Splitting our forces. Orders. My lord. Move out. Splitting our forces. Yes. All right. Let's return Move with that unit. The general over there. Died. Noble Death Shrelly died. Noble Death Hartford died too. We lost all the generals. We rest fell to our armies and uh, yeah. that's it. A goblin the army here. Yeah. Speak to our representatives. Goblin shredders. Goblin tail gunners. 
Alright, we're done, see you soon. Alright, I'm back. Battle between the Night Elves and the Burning Legion is about to start. We are controlling the Night Elves. So the AI is controlling both the big armies. We are just controlling one unit of uh, mounted Night Elven warriors, I believe. Start deployment. Mounted the Night Elven warriors, yes. Start the battle. Could retreat with that unit. Here are the Burning Legion. Here are Doom Guards. Ten Red Lords. They usually don't crash. We have ten Doom Guards. They could crash actually uh, in, in the past, but now we are using this uh, tool, the memory editing tool. We have some Doom Fiends here too, but they are too far away for us to be able to read their names. Usually that uh, type of giant wouldn't crash, they are not real giants, they are smaller. But for some reason the, the Doom Guards and Doom Fiends used to crash. Hopefully they won't crash now. There's some wolf riders, fell orc wolf riders. They want to find the giant units. Here we have the Fell Reavers, the biggest unit in their roster. Real Giants. Strongest Giant unit in the game. Fell Reavers. Can't click on them, they are too far away from our army. Have some Succubuses. Fell Soldiers. <coughs> Rat Guards. Demon Rat Guards. Some beholders here, they can change colors. Here are the fell fiends, I believe. They have more than one of those, I think. But where are their giants? There are the fell reavers, but where are their infernals? Here we have the Death Knights of the Burning Legion. They are different from the ordinary Death Knights. And the Pit Lords, they don't crash either. Despite being big. Some Satyrs. Some Fellhounds, they could crash on Windows 10, I believe, but not on Windows 7, usually. So, I don't like that I can't find the Infernals. I'm pretty sure we had an Infernal in the army, too. My lord, only half our force remains. Our army is tiring. Alright, we have retreated with one unit. Here they are, the Infernals. They are smaller than the Fell Reavers, but they used to crash more often, I believe. So these are the f Infernals. One red variation and one yellow. I also believe they are smaller than the original ones. They used to be bigger in the past. Now it's kind of sad that we made them bigger. Smaller, I mean. If they work. They look kind of meh. It's like one of the stones are behind. But that's probably the arm. They look alright. 
they are smaller than they used to be, I believe. I don't know if I still have the big one. If I do, I might re-add re it. Balance of forces is evenly matched. Right. Very equal. These are the mountain guides. Two different variations. Different of war. Chimera. Succubuses or succubuses. Shit, their keepers of the group took out the three giants easily with their mage attacks. Transform into bears that are fighting the succubus. 
Kubis is. And the Here we have the ancients of war and chimeras fighting the Our allies hit lords. Like dead, slain by the enemy. We must help his men avenge him, lest they lose the heart. Red Lords in me. Oops. Two guards here. The battle seems to fighting only half the enemy force remains. I think the wardens of the night elves. Griff Riders War of these guys Two guards Maybe they were the same We have the Moon Priestesses Mounted Moon Priestesses Where are the Infernals? King is slain, a worthy enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our advantage. Some mountain giants and dryads fighting the fell soldiers. Hundred warriors there attacking the mages, fellow mage.
percent of the legion has been killed. Eighty-five percent of night elves are dead. So. Okay, so the night elves won the battle. Faith has been kind to us and delivered us victory. It could easily have been us out there, slain nice. and defeated on the field. Finally, we can play the Naga, the Burning Legion, and the Night Elves without crashing in battle. Just need to fix some stuff, but then I will enjoy it. Okay, close to victory. So now we know the giants, the dragons, etc. They work. So battles will work without CTD. Perfect. CTD crash to desktop. Yeah. All right. See ya.